hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience today we are going to be making those high slit scattered waistcats and an off shoulder crop top with a balloon sleeve before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it <laughs> So I'll be using this Ankara prints for this tutorial. So to know the amount of fabric to use depends on how full you want the gathers. As for me, I'll multiply my hip circumference by 2, that is 44 times 2, that will give me 88. And then I'll add 1 inch for zipper allowance and 1 inch for side seam allowance, that is 90 inches. So if you want the gathers really full, you can multiply your waist circumference by 3. So this is my 90 inches. So the next thing I'll do is to divide the 90 inches into 2 because I'll be attaching a side pocket. So this is my front and my back piece. Now on the back piece, I am also going to divide it into two because of the zipper allowance, because I'll be attaching the zip at the back of the skirt. So I'll label this as B, that is for my back piece. So I'll be using one inch for my zipper allowance. So I'll place good side on good side and pin it down first. So this is my front piece and the front piece is going to have a slit. I'll be using 20 inches for the slit and I've marked that already. So I'll also be cutting this out. I'll label this as F, my front piece, and I'll pin it down too. So the length of this fabric I'm working with is 46 inches. So I'll remove one inch from the waist and I'll be hemming the lower part with two inches. And then I'll be adding a waistband of two and a half inches and I'll use half inch to join the waistband to the main skirt and it will remain 45 inches. That will be the length of my skirt. So from this line, that is my waist line. I'll be marking 10 inches for my slit. So if you don't want it open, you can use 12 inches or 11 inches. And if you want it really open, you can use eight or seven inches. So I'll mark 10 inches and I'll pin it down. And then I'll mark seven inches for my zip. That is on the back piece. So to cut my side seam pockets, I'll fold my fabric into two this way, good sides facing each other, and I'll 
place my hand this way. And trace it. So I'll fold it this way to get four pieces of the pocket. So this is it. Now I'll mark four and a half inch on the side seam of both the front and the back piece for my pocket placement. So now I'll place the pocket on the four and a half inch and pin it down. I'll make sure good sides are facing each other. So I'll do the same thing on the front piece. Make sure good sides are facing each other and pin it down. Then I'll stitch the pocket piece on the side seam by half inch. So I've joined the 10 inch. This is it. That is where my slit will start. And I'll sew this part for the slit. So also I've joined the pocket and this is it. So the next thing is to join the pocket and the side seam along once together. So I'll go ahead and pin it down, make sure good sides are facing each other as the front piece and the back piece. And then I'll pin it down this way. So now I'll sew it this way from the waist around the pocket down to the hemline and then I'll do the same on the other side. Go ahead and pin it down, good sides facing each other. I'll make sure they are aligned. Then I'll pin it down and sew it by half inch. So this is it, sewn and pressed. So I'll sew my slit. I'll remove the pins for the zipper allowance on the back piece. So I marked half inch on the waist because I'll be I'll use the longest stitch on my sewing machine to sew on the half inch to gather the skirt. So I've gone ahead to cut my waistband. I ironed a hair stain on it. So the length of the waistband is six inches. And I folded half inch on both sides. And fold it again this way. 
so I have two and a half inches for the width of my waistband so the length of the waistband is my waist measurement my waist circumference is 36 inches so I'll be adding one inch for my zipper allowance that is seven and that is seven inches so go ahead and mark 37 inches I've marked it on the other side So this is 37 inches. I'll cut out the excess. So this is it. I will pick one of the thread and gather my skirt. So this is it. I made sure the gathers is up to 37 inches. Plus the one inch I left for zipper allowance. So I made sure it is 37 inches. So I'll fold the waistband into two and from the midpoint I will mark nine inches. That is my waist circumference divided by four. That is nine inches. I'll go ahead and mark nine inches from the midpoint. On both sides. So I'll place good sides on each other. And I'll make sure the the nine inches I marked is aligned with the pocket. So I'll ensure they are aligned and I'll pin it down. Then I'll also align the one inch for zipper allowance. So at this point, you can place the slit where you want it to be. So this is how to come out. I'll go and sew half inch. So I've done that and I've sewed half inch on the slit too. So the next thing I'll do is I'll place good sides on each other like this. Then I'll be joining the zipper allowance. Go ahead and align it, pin it down. And I'll be marking out seven inches for my zipper allowance. For sorry, seven inches where my zip will stop. So this is it. Now I'll be attaching my zip. As always, I'll place where I want my zip to start on the middle of the waistband. And I'll make sure good side of the zip is facing good side of the fabric. And then I'll pin it down on the zipper allowance. 
and I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll make sure it is aligned. Make sure the waist, the band is aligned. Then I'll open it up and fold it this way from the middle of the band. I'll fold it this way, pin it down. So I'll use the other half inch I folded on the band to cover up the stitch this way and I'll pin it down. So I'll sew it from the good side of the skirt, that way the stitches are not visible on the outside of the waistband. And then I'll hem it with the two inch I left for hemming allowance. So this is it. This is the slit. And then I've gone ahead to hem the lower part and iron it. Came out really neat. So on the waistband, as you can see, it's not visible because I stitched it from the front of the skirt. I made sure the zip is aligned. So this is the inner pocket. You can see it came out neat. So I'm going to try this on and I'll also put it on the mannequin to show you guys how it came out. So if you want to know how I made this off shoulder crop top with a balloon sleeve, you have to go and watch the part two of this video. I don't want, I don't want the video to be too long. That was why I made a part two. So I'll put the link of the part two on the description box below. So guys, this is it and this is how the skirt came out. It came out really nice. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell. So see you guys on the part two. Bye.